a mixed faith marriage that comes from the LDS or Mormon faith transition can bring up a lot of questions. Will this work? Will it hurt the kids? Will he leave me? Will she leave me? You know, will this, will we have less of our marriage? So many questions. And I find that a lot of times these questions that we spin and spin and spin in are really just manifestations of fear. And think about it, when you answer the questions, the answers tend to be things like, I'm afraid the mixed faith marriage won't work. I'm afraid it'll mess up the kids. I'm afraid that this isn't gonna work. I'm afraid that I'm hurting him. I'm afraid that I'm hurting myself. I'm afraid that he will leave or that she will leave, right? That's what the answers to the questions, they're all around fear. So I wanna talk about fear for a minute. Fear is one of those human's emotions, the human emotions that will always be there. I mean, all human emotions, let's just pause and say that. All human emotions will always be there. The purpose of any type of work, whether it's coaching or therapy, is never to eliminate emotions. It's to learn how to live with them. It's to learn how to manage them. It's to learn how to come to peace over the fact that we experience emotions in our lives. And fear is a big one that people really struggle to live with and to manage. And when fear starts to present, we tend to shut down, we get stuck, we paralyze ourselves and we, we don't make progress, we don't find solutions, we don't work towards dialogue and resolution. So this is what I want you to consider about fear, is that it's always gonna be there and that's okay. Fear is a normal human emotion. It's a normal response to a situation where there's big changes in transition. I like how Elizabeth Gilbert talks about fear. She has the analogy of all the emotions in a car on a road trip. And fear is going to be one of the passengers in the car. It doesn't have to drive the car or pick out the music or hand out the snacks, but it will go along for the drive. Think about that with your mixed faith marriage. Fear is going to be present. It's going to be there, but it doesn't have to make the parenting decisions. It doesn't have to make the decisions around, you know, that the couple makes together. It doesn't have to make those decisions. It's going to be present and it's going to be there, but it doesn't have to be hijacking the situation. You may need help figuring out how to work with emotions and be with emotions without them hijacking the situation. And that's work that you can get, that you can seek um, help with for sure. A great place to start might be grabbing my free mini course that I call Loving Your Mixed Faith Marriage. It has some basic powerful tools to help you get started working on your mixed faith marriage. And if you wanna go more into the emotional work, feel free to reach out to me and let's talk. This is Brooke Booth, a life coach for Mormons in a mixed faith marriage.